How's it going everybody? I'm Landon with LMR.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this Diode Dynamics LED Instrument Cluster Light Kit designed for the 1999 to 2004 Mustangs. Diode Dynamics' LED Instrument Cluster Light Kit is a simple plug and play kit that includes five 74 type LEDs. That is a direct fit upgrade for your 1999 to 2004 Mustang. These LED lights illuminate a cool white light which will significantly boost the light output when comparing them to the factory incandescent bulbs. Now upgrading to this kit is really easy to do and we already have a video on how you remove the instrument cluster from an SN95, our new edge Mustang. So be sure and check out that video. With the instrument cluster out of the car and on a workbench, Use a pair of needle nose pliers and gently rotate the bulb socket counterclockwise an eighth of a turn to remove it from the cluster. Do this for all five of the bulb sockets. Now the factory bulbs are probably seated into the sockets pretty good and they're going to take a little bit of persuasion to remove. Go ahead and remove all the factory bulbs and install the new LEDs into the sockets. Make sure the pins make full contact with the socket. Reinstall the sockets back into the cluster. Position the cluster back into the car and reconnect the electrical connections. Reconnect the battery cable and check for operation. If some of the bulbs do not power on, make a note as to which bulbs need to be rotated. Disconnect the negative battery cable and remove the cluster. Rotate each bulb that did not power on 180 degrees and reinstall them back into the cluster. This is because LEDs are polarity sensitive. Reconnect the battery cable Reinstall the cluster and check for operation. Whenever all the bulbs illuminate, you can go ahead and put everything back together. Reinstall and retighten the four T20 Torx screws. Reposition the cluster bezel and fully seat the clips. Reinstall and retighten the two 7mm screws. Align the headlight knob with the shaft and push it back on until it locks in place. Tighten the negative battery cable and then you're good to go. As always, for the most up-to-date product information, pricing, and availability on anything in this video, reference LMR.com. To see more product review and install videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time we release new content. Feel free to check out our other videos. And for all things SN95 and New Edge Mustang, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.